Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a little bit of news pertaining to the Wind Witch's release in Raging Tempest. Now, Konami has put an article up on their Konami blog talking about strategies with the Wind Witch cards, how they can be used, pluses and minuses of the cards and stuff like that, yada yada yada. The same sort of spiel that Konami usually does, but the most important thing that we're, be able, we're able to gain from this information they've put out is the rarities of the Wind Witch cards are more or less completely confirmed at this point. So... That's really good because Konami usually puts their pre-production sample images of the cards in the uh, in the articles that they put up, especially if it's a new card release, and you can discern what rarity the card will be printed as based off the way that pre-production sample image looks. And so, looking at all these Wind Witch cards that they provided us, they all have a gold text in their pre-production sample image. So, all of the main deck Wind Witches have been bumped to ultra rare status so unfortunately if you were one of those people that thought wind witches were going to be relatively cheap and easy to get a hold of this may actually not be the case so unfortunately if you are a budget player and really can't afford money to throw at cards these might actually be pretty pricey especially since fusion enforcers comes out i think within a month of raging tempest i can't remember the exact date but it's either late february or very early march so i think it's like within a month of um, of this uh, of this set dropping, Raging Tempest dropping, we have Fusion of Forces coming out giving us the Eidolons, which means that Wind Witch Eidolon Artifacts is an actual legitimate deck that we can play within like a month and a half's time frame, meaning that people are going to be wanting to pick up these cards and the cards are basically going to maintain a certain price point, at least I believe, until that deck comes out and then based off its success or lack thereof, the card prices will fluctuate from there. Now, the only one that's kind of iffy is the Synchro, Wind Witch Winter Bell. Now, this is a silver text, so that could either mean that it's a rare or it's a secret rare, but usually the thicker text denotes that it's a secret rare, and this text does look pretty thick in terms of how it looks in the image, so there is definitely very much the potential for this card to be secret rare, but it is just silver text, so it's very indiscernible in the picture form, whether or not it's a rare or a secret rare. Usually, the only thing we have to go on there is thickness of the text, and this looks pretty thick, but also they are just big letters because they wanted to fill the name out into the box. So it could actually just be a rare with its text enlarged so that it could fill out the box a little bit better because that's just kind of something that Konami's been doing a lot since Galactic Overlord, actually, when they changed their printing style to increase the text size if there was little amounts of text on the card. Uh, stuff like that, but yeah, basically all the main deck Wind Witches are ultra rares, meaning they will look amazing, they will look great, but the potential for those cards to be a bit higher in price than some players might have been willing to pay for them and doing all that sort of stuff is actually a very real possibility, because like I said, Eidolon Artifact Wind Witch is a deck that will be out for us to play within a month, basically, a month and a half to a month's time frame whenever we get Fusion Enforcers, which like I said, I'm not 100% familiar with the date offhand, but basically they're going to look great, and I'm happy about that, but some other players might be put off by this because it is just a rarity bump. I think these cards were commons and rares in Japan, and they've all been bumped to ultras, so I mean, I guess. I mean, rarity bumps happen, but this was a rather weird rarity bump, but at least they all match in rarity, so I guess there is that for my OCD related mind, but anyway. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments down below, whether you like this rarity bump or whether you hate it, if this is something that's going to affect your ability to get the Wind Witches, stuff like that. Let me know. I'm always curious as to your opinions, and I would like to hear them down below. But other than that, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to a Patreon page as well as my personal Facebook and stuff like that. Definitely use those links as resources to the best of your abilities, but just keep it classy. And like I said, there's a Patreon link in the description, as well as there will be one on the video shortly or right now. And if you want to support me directly, you could definitely go check that out and maybe consider in the heart of your hearts to consider donating. And I have a monthly giveaway that's linked to that as well. So if you want to check that out, definitely go over there and give it a look. It's free to look, <laughs> but if you want to support me, then you can definitely look into some details over there. But other than that, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will see you next time. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, and take care. I don't know exactly whether or not this was a good move or not, but... They'll look good.